Hey, I'm Shelby. And I'm Courtney. We're exploring our past. Looking forward to our future. And living for the present. All, all while, while learning, learning how, how to live, live magically. magically. Hey. I'm great. How are you? I'm good. We're going to get into more about how I'm feeling in this episode. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But how oh. are you? Um, I'm good. So I am in like a new phase of life. Okay. I like quit the job, but I had my official last day. Because like, like you quit the job, what? but then you were still working on like Tuesdays and Thursdays. But now you're like donezo. I quit the job and I gave like a two weeks notice. Then they asked me to stay mm. for a month or stayed for a month. Okay. Then they asked me to stay after the month for Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I did that through the end of the next month. And here we are. So my last day was Monday, which was an extra day I picked up to cover for my assistant who needed to be out. So Monday was my last day. You t- you gave like a 10 week notice. That's very kind. I gave of like you. a 10 week notice. Yeah. <laughs> But like, here we are, it's Thursday, we're recording this. And like, I feel like a free woman. Do you like, have you been motivated? Have you been like, chilling? Like, what's, what's going on? It depends on the day. Great. Um, yeah, it dep- it really depends. Like, I think we'll have to, we'll get into it. But like, okay, you know, yeah, there's yeah. highs and lows. D- absolutely. For everyone, right? For everyone. I'm trying to, um, you know, we need to check in on what we told the people that we were training for a 10 miler. Uh, are you, how are we doing? I'm doing it, but like the running part is hard. So we have kept up with the schedule, which is 30 minutes of running Tuesdays, Thursdays, and then on the weekend. And then every other weekend there is the 30 minutes is actually a longer run. And so the longest run we've done thus far is five miles. Yeah. But this weekend we have to do six. Yeah. And I mean, I'm feeling great. Oh, well, you're like booking it. Can you tell the people? I like, this is the part that I hate about myself is like, I'm proud of myself for like running these like pretty, like fast miles for me. But then I like yeah. compare myself to others and I am like, well, it's not really that great, but it is great uh, for me. I literally know like exactly who you're comparing yourself to on the internet. And, uh, and I hate that I do like, that because it's like, we're totally different people. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And totally I don't different people like built wise. And I don't size, ever want to type. be that like that person. Like that's just not no. my goal in life. No. But... Yeah, you get you get what I'm saying. Yeah, she fast. Yeah, so but like, shut up about that because you are fast and like I'm fast for not- me, and I'm fast for me in my entire life. Like, I don't even think when I was in like the tip top of my shape in high school would I have been able to run consistently like I am currently running because I just never Which, trained like, to the, run. For the people at home, like, what are we talking about? Well, the other day I ran a 10 minute and 45 second mile. Insane. Applause. Thank you. Which is crazy. But I'm averaging around like, so like my 30 minute mile, my 30 minute classes that I've been taking, I've been doing about two and a half miles. So I run like a 12 to 13 minute average pace, which is like amazing. Yeah. I'm, we'll be curious on how I can do my six miles. Yeah. This weekend. You always act like you're nervous about it. And like, I'm sure you are, but then you consistently come out of it and you crush it. So like, it's cool to watch for the, for like the long runs. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, when we did our five miles the other day, I think you probably are this way too. We got to mile three and I was like, I don't know if I can do two more miles like this. We were doing consistent intervals. And then, but it's, it's the idea of it. Cause then you get to the four mile and you're like, oh, we have one more mile. This is easy. So like, yes. it's all a mental game. It is. It's totally a mental game. Which I think is why I'm starting to like, enjoy it. 
Oh, yeah, you're getting good at it too. Like it's your body like, is really adapting. I don't know. Today I was really sore when I did my run today, but yeah, but you were fast. I saw your times on the Instagram. Was it my fastest? Who cares? That's what I'm saying. I get too competitive. It was like a recovery day for you. So chill That's out. what I tried to call it. Yeah. Well, anywho, um, I think you're going to get there too. I'm just like still preaching to get on the tread. No, you're right. I need to do it on the tread and not outside. And I, um, owe, I owe KG an apology. Why? Because when she was on the pod, she was like, she loved to run with Olivia. And I was like, oh my God, how can you run with Olivia? Because I can't stand Olivia on the bike. I love Olivia on the tread. So. Oh, no. I had just had to give that a shout out to KG. My if you're like loving Olivia on the tread, then you are really crushing it because she is a runner. Well, she's like getting me there. Yeah. I mean, good for you. She's amazing. So we're like, and like Kyle's keeping up. He is also doing the same training that I am and AJ too, right? Yep. Yep. I'm proud of us. Proud of us. I'm proud of us too. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it. So today I, when we were like, what are we going to talk about on the pod today? I was like, yeah. let's talk about burnout. Because if you were to ask me how I'm feeling, I would tell you that I'm burnt out. It's so You go through these cycles. So, like, it's fascinating to me that that's where you're at right now because you go through, like, a full cycle every, like, two months. Yeah, but I'm, like, I'm, like, currently on fire. <laughs> that's I no how idea. burnt out I am. But why am I burnt out? Yeah, what's going on? Like, what I are you burnt out of doing? Well, I don't know because so like once we decided we were going to talk about burnout on the podcast, I like did a deep dive into like I really wanted to be sp specific on like what burnout is mm -hmm. and just to make sure that we were like discussing it correctly. But yeah. I also it's not, like not a medical diagnosis, by the way, that was in uh. my research. But because um, I've been in this place of like I went from planning a wedding where I went from like busy pixie season while also planning a wedding, while also coaching two cheer teams. And then all of that went to nothing right after yeah. the wedding. So then I was kind of like, oh, maybe, you know, I don't know. This is like the post wedding blues or something like that. Maybe that's like an actual thing. But now that we just started this conversation, I'm actually thinking maybe I just thrive better being so hectic and go, 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 where like right now, sure, I have Pixie, but I like, that's kind of it. Do you kind of. I mean, like, aren't you also doing house projects right now? No, not really. You don't have any house projects going on. No, I got nothing. And Kyle's okay. in this like his he loves his job and i love that he loves his job i love that he loves his job but his hours currently are four to one a.m oh god it's horrible yeah so i just like sit on the couch all night long but then because he's there during the day i don't really want to leave during the day because i want to spend time with him right so like we're just in this like really not great cycle oh no but it's like, but I just like want to spend all my time with him. Would you get that? You and I have talked about this before. <laughs> I get that 100%. Can you shift your work schedule and work in the evening? Yes. And I do like I do get on my computer and do like computer work in the evening. Like I did this podcast information. I did that all last night. Yeah. But yeah. I'm very weird about going to the warehouse like oh, at yeah. night at, when it's dark. It like really freaks me out because like the building's empty and I just not that I don't feel safe. I just don't feel comfortable. So that, it makes it a little bit harder. No, I think that's valid. Yeah. That's totally valid. But like you could go at four. It gets dark by like by five here. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So maybe I'm Ooh. also in a seasonal depression. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's yeah. like snowing where you are, right? All the freaking time right now. Like yeah. we, we barely had any snow and now it's March and we're going to snow all the time. Can we just no. not? Anyways. No burnout so last burnout. night in my research i googled what is burnout and it says burnout is a special type of work-related stress a state of physical or emotional exhaustion that also involves a sense of reduced accomplishment and a loss of personal identity okay 
Okay. okay. Because then I like jumped into the difference between stress and burnout. Okay. Because I think this definitely can get confusing to people. Yeah, I'm getting confused. But I also think that a lot of people feel this way. I do too. In all aspects. So there's, I went through some differences between stress and burnout. So stress would be you put in too much effort. Where burnout is, it's hard to put in any effort. I feel that. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. Stress is you feel emotions more strongly. Burnout, your emotions feel blunted. Yeah, it's like you're describing depression. That is kind of what it sounds like, right? But like, I don't feel like I'm depressed. No, I don't. No. I think it's burnout. Yeah. But like... Okay, so here's another one. A stress is you feel hyperactive or anxious. Burnout, you feel drained and helpless. Yeah. That also that very much sounds like depression. Yeah. Stress, you have less energy. Burnout, you have less motivation. Yeah. And then, you have less of both. <laughs> I, I agree. And then stress, it takes a physical toll. While burnout, it takes an emotional toll. Okay. 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 I still feel like I'm burnt out because I think it's because you're right. I go through these. I think burnout is part of a cycle. Yeah, I do too. Well, I think you're just, you in particular are really good at recovering from the cycle of burnout. And like, I think that that possibly could be related to the fact that you own your own business. So like you're able to space your time. And like, if you need a day off, you can take a day off. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but like, I think, I think, Thank God, you. That's how you like pull out of it and rebalance. Yeah, but I think me having my own. I think oh, there's obviously so many pros to having your own business and being able yeah. to make your own schedule. But I think with being able to make your own schedule comes a lot of cons. Yeah. For example, is I don't feel like working because Kyle's at home until four, or he's even at home after four. So it's like, meh. Well, then I won't work today because like I don't want to. That's a right. con. Like, I don't, I need more, like, accountability for myself. That's fair. But, like, literally, you also do work, like, while you're on vacation, on your honeymoon. Yes. In the middle of a theme park, on a bike, on a trike. So, like. Okay. So, sorry to interrupt you. There. So, when I was looking at more about burnout, there was, like, five burnout symptoms. And what you're saying is reminding me of something. And let me just. One of them was feeling no sense of accomplishment and satisfaction leading to self-doubt and feeling like a failure. And I find because you were just, like, hyping me up of, like, okay, but, like, remind yourself that you do work on vacation on, you know, in the middle of the night, whatever, whatever. I think that the second I read that. I was reminded of last week when I had a really good sale of my a brand new tea. And yeah. I was like, cool, I had a really good sale. And you're like texting me like, holy crap, you sold out of that. That's incredible. I'm so proud of you, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, okay, yeah, cool. Like I just did not even no. care that I sold out of a shirt, which like usually I'm like, heck yeah, I sold out of that shirt and I like can pump my own tires a little bit. But like- right. Could could care less. Right. But I had you in my corner like, you just sold out of that shirt. That's incredible. Like, I know that you were a little nervous about that one. Like, you crushed it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Whatever. So it's so not like, just me in your corner. Like, literally everybody who bought it is well, in your corner. Well, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. And then I have to remind myself of that. But that right, that's point right. of burnout, burnout, I felt that one because... I like literally reminded myself of last week. Yeah, it's burnout. It's like hard to, when you're in burnout, it's hard to like count your blessings or something. I don't, I don't know. It's just like hard to, it's like a funk and you're just like in it. In it, yeah. living it, living yeah. it. Like, because you have a negative outlook on life due to feeling helpless, trapped and defeated. <laughs> Number four on the five Amen. five signs of burnout. Um, well, and I also think, so like some other signs they say is like exhaustion and feeling tired. Wait, can we yep. talk can we talk about my fortune the other day? 
<laughs> yeah. I have to find it because I sent it to you. So I was like, I've been telling Courtney, like, man, I could just lay on this couch and not do anything for a while. And the other day, Kyle and I get Chinese food and he's like, you got to like have your fortune cookie. And I'm like, I don't like fortune cookies. He's like, well, you at least need to like open it up and see your fortune. Right. (laughs) I'm like, you're right. I do need to do that. My fortune said, I have a dream, dot, 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 time to go to bed. I love it. It's not the most fitting thing for me right now, then I don't know what is. Oh, man, that made me like LOL. You're dreaming so big, it's making you tired. Yeah, basically. I love it. Actually, you just, you made it sound like a positive. I like that. Yeah, that's what I do best. Okay, now let's talk about five, like, burnout recovery. Yeah, we're basically, what are you doing in, a, to fix we're it? basically in a therapy session for me because no, I love it. My, we're trying to figure out my new health insurance. So here we are. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, five short-term burnout recoveries. These are things that I googled. One, okay. clean your environment and reorganize. Yes. I feel this one hundred percent. Yes. It's just harder said than done. <laughs> it is, but like it's this thing about. When, that's why my house is the way it is. I think that when your space is decluttered, your mind is left, yes, left cluttered. Um, and so I think it's just like left things to think about. Left. I I agree I because so like this this week, I had said to Kyle like I'm going to make a small to do list so that I am actually like holding myself accountable to doing these things. And one of the things on my to do list was. Posh park more of my closet. And I said, I'm going to posh park more of my closet because it brings me joy to have less crap in our house. And he was like, Yes. Love to hear it. Great. <laughs> but it's He's like, true. I don't care. Just do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I like, I agree with you because I, um, I got new pots and pans the other day and I bought an organizing thing for them. And like, one of them is to like a hand, like holds all the handles, but you screw it to like the backside of your cabinet. And I was like, look at this. I was like so excited over it. So it's true. Do you screw it to the door or to the cabinet? To the cabinet door, like the inside of it. To the door of the cabinet. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Okay. And oh. like all of your lids stack in it. Did you install it or did Kyle install it? I did it last night because he's working four to 1 a.m. Okay. Probably... Are you going to post a pic or send me a pic? Yeah, I'll send you a pic. I want to see it. Okay. It was from Target. It's really great. Amazing. But it brought me a lot of joy. So maybe... The point of this is like, I need to go to the office and clean and organize that. Well, you can clean and organize your house. That's fine. It doesn't have to be work related. You're right. You're right. Okay. Another one is set boundaries and delegate. Yeah. That's hard for you because you don't have like a business partner. I know. But I will like, I, I at least hired Angela to answer my email. So I delegated something off. You, I forgot about that. So you did, did, and that was that. really important. We made progress. You did. Because so like, if I experienced continue? burnout a year ago, I would have just also not been answering my emails. Oh, right. So now at least my emails are getting responded to. There is that. Well, burnout is, burnout is real. I mean, like, messes with you in ways that you can't. Yeah describe agreed um all right what's another tip practice daily positive thinking duh yeah also duh and i am trying to be better at that and i feel like i i use instagram as my um way to do that yeah it's you do and it's funny you say that because um part of my new habit in life that i've had in my new life since i was done with work on Tuesday is (laughs) that I like to go live on TikTok. Have you been doing that? Yes. In the morning when I do my gratitude journal. I love that. And I'm just like quiet and I don't really care who comes in or doesn't or like whatever. I mean, today there were like 200 people there. So I like described, I know, but only for like a short period. So (laughs) I like described what my gratitude journal was and like what I track because I also do um, like goals in there. Yeah. Yeah. So 
I kind of like described it, but then I just like sit there in silence and do my gratitude journal, but there's accountability because I feel responsible to show up every morning. Yes. You know, cause like people are counting on me, even though nobody. Yeah. But in shit. your mind they are. So that's all that matters. Yep. Okay. So it says to practice the daily positive thinking. So can we say like something positive? What do you got for right today? now? Yeah. What do you got for today? Oh my gosh. Um, my gratitude journal. We reorganized my closet and my dresser. I'm so thankful for that because this morning when I got up, my Shelby shirts were arranged in wow. color order from the left to right, perfectly folded. And so oh, it's it got to so be like one. so satisfying. Yeah, it's really I love satisfying. That. I love that. What about you? Um, positive thinking today because Kyle's weird schedule. We're making the best of it, and we went on a date day and went to lunch. Oh, I love a lunch day. It was a lunch day and we loved it. We tried a new restaurant and it was great. I literally love a lunch day. It feels yeah. like a guilty pleasure. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. Cool. Um, okay. Four is practice self-care. Yeah. And I think self-care can be like a whole thing. It doesn't have like, I think some people think self-care means like do a facial. Right. I don't like that doesn't really do anything for me. But this right. is where I'm going to jump into hobbies. Okay. Because I think finding something to do for yourself is self-care. Agree. Agree. But you and I have had this conversation before. Is like, we don't have a freaking hobby. Hobbies are a bitch. So, like, our husbands love to play video games. Yes. Could care less yes. about a video game. You're not going to catch me playing a video game. I mean, that's no. not true, but you're not going to catch me playing video games that they play video games. Right. They play with, with their buddies. Anyone. Yeah. With the headset. He's down. He's down. Come get me. Come get me. Like that is not, I'm not here for that. I'll play right. a little Mario Kart, that kind of jam. But it's not even like a hobby. I like need a hobby that I consistently do. Yep. That is, and my hobby cannot be booking a trip to come see you <laughs> every two months. Like, No. I need a hobby. So I went That's on Instagram. So funny you said that. That's AJ's. He just gave me that speech too. Like your hobby can't be travel. But like also says who? Yeah, right. <laughs> how, about says I, who? how about I don't have a hobby because I'm saving money so that I can travel. Exactly. How about that? But it's true that we need a hobby. And, yeah. but it's also, I, so I have to post it on that Instagram and then like I ask for people's hobbies and yeah. A lot of people don't have, a lot of women don't have hobbies. Yeah. Which is That's interesting. Very interesting. Like, yeah. I had so many DMs agreeing with me. Like, oh, my husband does this, this, this. They, he is in a volleyball thing on once a week. Like, just like Kyle used to play basketball once a week. He was bowling once a week. Me. Uh, I have a countdown to go see Courtney. <laughs> like, I don't have a hobby. But then let's track to number three on the recovery is to think positive thoughts. So yeah. I kind of looked at it like, that's actually not true. I do have hobbies. I just don't act on them. Okay. So like, like what? Well, I think running is technically now one of my hobbies. Gross. Isn't it? I'm though? so proud of you. But isn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. But that one is kind of gross, but baking, I really love to bake. Yeah. That can be a hobby. I, I just agree. need to do it more. You need to do it more, but you, you bake like really cool stuff. Like you just made bagels. Who makes that was, bagels? That was the first time I ever made bagels because I put it on my to-do list this week of like, I needed to like do something. And I said, I'm going to make bagels because I didn't want to like, I can't be making 24 cupcakes. I'm going to eat them. It was really, that's really smart of you. So like if I cook a bagel, one, that's better for you than a cupcake. It's not like the best thing for you, but it's also right. A bagel that I make is probably better than a bagel that I buy at the store. So it's totally. just like, and it was like fascinating that I could make a bagel. I don't know. <laughs> Did you make it in the oven? Yeah, I had to like, the bread had to rise and then I had to do all that. You Then you make the bagel and then you have to boil them for just a second. Oh. That's how like new, to get a New York bagel, you bagel it, you bagel it. You boil it for two minutes to get it a chewier bagel, which apparently New York has chewier bagels. And then you bake them. Oh. It's a whole oh. process. 
Well, like, cool. And you could become a bagel expert. Maybe. Like, you became a drink expert. Like, I became a drink expert. Yeah. Maybe like we need expert. to open up, a, like, a coffee and bagel shop because you know all about drinks. And then I'm going to do the bagel. Well, <laughs> a bakery. Do it. <laughs> Anyways. So, baking. I tried to start reading. Um, wow. So, like, such wholesome hobbies. Okay, but wait. Can Instagram be considered our hobby? No. AJ <laughs> just screamed no. Did you hear him? I did hear that. Okay, wait, wait, hold, on, hold on. Back up. I'm not meaning like <laughs> scrolling on Instagram. That is obviously not a hobby. But can making reels <laughs> technically be a hobby? I think yes. Because like I have fun doing those. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I thought that was AJ, but I knew it was Beck. Like, why can that be a hobby, you know? No, I agree. I think it's like a, because it's a creative outlet. It's like producing a video. You just get the instant gratification of like the likes. Can can I get AJ's new response on if that is technically a hobby? He said yes. Creating content is a hobby. hobby. Love to hear it. Okay. So that's my hobby. (laughs) I love it. But we need to stop making, this is what you're, like, you have the same problem. We need to. Yes. In our minds, having a hobby means it needs to make us money. A hundred percent. And that's, like, literally where I'm at right now is I'm, like, how can I monetize my hobby? <laughs> but that's not, like, why do, why? Uh, that's what got us here. I mean, like, I Disney mean, was a hobby. Sure, but, like. Our men are not playing video games to make money. They're just doing it to, like, ignore the rest of whatever is going on in the world. Maybe we're smarter than them. (laughs) Okay, but, like, my hobby used to, like, I used to think, like, playing with my cricket was my hobby, maybe. Right. And then it became Pixie. That's no longer my hobby. It's my job. Right. Okay. It can be both. But, like, I... Okay. Okay. I guess. Yeah. No, I, I hear what you're saying. Like, it's like saying I used to love making gifts, but now I'm like, here's your shit in a paper bag. Like, <laughs> That's what I'm saying, because you like are over it. Maybe burn yeah. out. <laughs> exactly. Burn out. OK, number five on the short term burnout recovery is take a vacation slash break. Hey. That's why I go to Disney all the time. Yeah. That is like. Come on down. My hobby. Full it's circle hobby. here. It's, your jobby. <laughs> it's full circle here. But you just, we just got back from vacation. Like, I can hear AJ over here, his wallet crying from the Vegas trip. So, like, we did just get like a nice, fun. I, yeah, I went on, I was away for 10 days. So, how did yeah. I come back burnt out? <laughs> yeah. Well, you came back, you're more like burnt out because you, there's like a lot, you just planned a wedding. That's exhaust, like, exhausting and also now there's like a big void yeah yeah which is i don't know hard. but you know it's funny though is like i i think i just need more i think we should add this on to the burnout recovery for people in situations like this particular one and you as well is like we need more structure yes so like even today like i knew i had to podcast at three and that kind of kept me like accountable for the rest of the things i had to do today so I need more things yeah. like that. Yes. Of like, That's what I'm literally trying to do with this, like going live with my gratitude yeah. journal garbage. Yeah. It's just like accountability to show up Yes. every day and like a schedule. And also like if I'm going to go live on TikTok, then like I need to have a face on. True. You know what I mean? No, so that's, like so gets, that's such a thing because like, like today, yeah, I had to like, ready. I knew I had to pod. And I was like, okay, well, my hair is, like, really disgusting. I don't know the last time I washed it. But then it was like, eh, I can't take a shower without working out because that would be a waste of a shower. So then I worked out and then I showered and, like, had it was, like, a whole thing to get me here. But, like, now I'm, like, good. Here you are. Although I will say I was, like, leaving the house and I'm like, all right, well, I'm leaving. I'm going on an adventure by myself. Without you, <laughs> Kyle's like, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> it literally, you can do I it. hate to tell you this. It gets worse 
now it's like, I'm going upstairs. I'll miss you. <laughs> well, in that, 10 minutes. He does that. When Kyle yeah. goes to work, he's like, all right, I'm going to work. <laughs> goes up yeah. the stairs. <laughs> Anywho. Hilarious. Okay. What was the point of this pod? How we're going to recover from burnout. You're right. You're right. I And I'm, what are you going to do? What are you going to implement? I think another thing that you kind of mentioned that got us through the pandemic was um, to-do lists. Remember yes. you used to post your to-do list to the to Instagrams the all the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's like big, and people like loved it. I know. Because I think it, people like then accountability. do it themselves too. Right. Yeah, I should do that. But yeah. I, I think the point of the pod is that like not everything on Instagram is like – perfect in these little squares that we post oh sure and i think there's probably a lot of people listening that relate to this if they're not going through it right at this very moment they have and yeah we're all gonna get through it we're all gonna get through it and like i cried yesterday we've all had our down days we've all had our up days but like you're it's right life. it's not all what's in the squares it's life yeah and if to fix it, you need to book a trip to Disney. Come on down. Freaking do it. <laughs> I love it. All right. Anything else on this topic? I just want to know, like, what is your, we're going to do a takeaway, but like, what is your implementational takeaway here? Like, what are you going to do for yourself to help? This is my like pep talk for you. Okay. Right? What are you going to do for yourself this week or this weekend? That's going to like pump you up. I think you should maybe go to that coffee shop that does like the flights of coffee. Good idea. You like love it there. Yes. I like that what idea. Else do? Um, what else can I? Well, I think the thing that I'm taking away from this is things that I already know that I should be doing that I'm just like making excuses to not do them. Like yeah. if I just got ready for the day. Rather than moving from my bed, getting a coffee, and sitting on the couch for far too long. Even if I'm working on the couch with my laptop, if I actually got out of bed and got ready and put a face on and, like, felt more human, I think I'd be more opted to do things. Agree, but, like, how are you going to talk yourself in the morning into getting ready? Like, I'm doing it with a camera in front of my face. How are you going to do it? I am. That's a good question. I'm going to tell you that I did it. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> Deal. Right? I mean, yeah. get yourself an accountability buddy. Yes. I want a picture of you in a full face first thing in the morning by like first thing by like 10. Okay, good. Because like Kyle does now work till 1 a.m. So like our sleep right, schedule's right. a little wacko. Yeah. Okay, great. I will do that. Okay, done. So I have my takeaway. Hey, Shelby, what's your takeaway? My takeaway is to get yourself an accountability buddy. High five. Hey. Which I like, hey. I don't want to like, I know that AJ is your accountability buddy too. And Kyle is yeah. my accountability buddy. But I will say our husbands are very nice and they're very kind. Where like they, Kyle won't totally tell me to like get my ass out of bed and put a face on. But right. like. You'll tell me to get my ass out of bed and put a face on. So, like, right. you know what I mean? Like, you get it. You get it. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're just too loving. Yeah. 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 All right. Wait a second. At the beginning of this pod, you said that you were, were you, there was something else, like, with your new schedule that you wanted to touch on in this pod. Was there something specific? Like, because we knew that we were talking about burnout today and you were like, we're going to get more into this. Like, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Sorry, this was all about me. How rude of me. People on Reddit no, will probably talk about that. That was uncalled for. Oh, child. my God. Um, <laughs> when, like, how are you feeling? I, I'm on, like, the, right now in this moment. I mean, like, today I'm having a slow day. But, like, in general, in this moment, I am on, like, an upper curve. Okay. Um, I'm getting a lot of energy from like the fact that I just left my job and like some yeah. exciting things are happening. Yeah. And blah blah blah. Your spark is currently lit. 
my spark is currently lit. So like I am happy to help light yours because you do it for me on the other 95% of the year when I'm like, not 95%. We're very 50, 50 and we're, we tend to not be our, it's very off, not often that our sparks are lit at the same time. (laughs) Yeah. We're just like always flip flopping. Okay. Agree. Well then thanks for being here for me. Appreciate it. Yeah, well, of course. Thanks for being here for me. You're my accountability buddy for making me show up for the pod, you know? Doing our best. Can this be our hobby? I think this is a great hobby. I agree. Okay, good. Look at all our hobbies we have. Look at all our hobbies. Let's count them off. (laughs) All right. Great. Well, then I'll see you next week. All right. See you here at 3 o'clock. See you here at 3 o'clock. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.